This episode of Ask the Buffalo is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. I'm John Rettinger and it feels good to be back in the driver's seat after Noah Kravitz filled in for me over the past few weeks. On this episode, we're going to talk about everything mobile. We're gonna talk about phones, we're gonna talk about tablets, including Windows 8 tablets. We're gonna talk a bit about my trip to Europe and everything in between. So sit down, relax, it's time to get our nerd on with Ask the Buffalo. I miss you guys. I am happy to be back hosting Ask the Buffalo. I am John Rettinger. If you want to get your questions in to be answered on Ask the Buffalo, you can do it one of two ways. First, you can go to technobuffalo.com. Once a week, we'll post an article asking for you to submit your questions. And all you got to do is type them in the comments. Otherwise, if you want to send a message to me on Twitter, you could send it to either my personal account at john 4 lakers or at TechnoBuffalo. Ask your question and use the hashtag AskTheB. So I know you want your question to be featured on Ask the Buffalo. Obviously, we can't answer all of them, but I do try and get to as many as I can. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the first question. This one comes from Emmanuel Davidoff, who asked John, what do you think of the Samsung Galaxy Note? Uh, I had a chance to see the announcement of the Samsung Galaxy Note at the IFA or IFA trade show in Berlin, and everybody's jaws kind of dropped when they saw a 5.3 inch phone being announced, but those crazy specs, it's got a 720p display, that 5.3 inch display that I just mentioned, uh, it's got a 1.4 gigahertz dual core processor in that thing, and I gotta tell you, I had some chance to get hands on with the device, and that screen is beautiful. Uh, as good as you'd expect a screen of that resolution to be, it looks almost twice as good. You think it's gonna feel really big in the hand, I did try doing the pocket test uh, on it and in normal dude jeans. It actually fit okay. If you sit down, you're not gonna snap the thing in half, even though it is very thin. Uh, so you're actually gonna be able to use this as a phone. It certainly felt weird up to your ear, something you could definitely get used to. Uh, one of the other cool things about the Note, uh, which I think kind of went under the radar, is actually has a stylus. It's funny now we're coming back to styluses. This one is actually magnetic and it worked really well. Actually at the Samsung booth at the IFA trade show, they had a caricature artist that would actually draw your picture on a Samsung Galaxy Note using that stylus and then email it to you right from there. Oh, it's kind of neat. So it works very well. If you can't tell, I'm excited about the Galaxy Note. It means I don't have to carry a tablet when I go anywhere and I don't have to carry another phone. I can try and carry one sort of bridge device. So it's a big phone or a small tablet. Either way, it's probably gonna have a place in my pocket. Our next question comes to us from technobuffalo.com from Nathan Cohen too, who asks, what tablet do you recommend? iPad, Blackberry Playbook, Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1, etc. Well, in my mind, there are three tablets to really consider. And chances are you probably know which one or which camp you're going to fall into as far as things that are available right now. If you're on the Apple side or you're swayed by, you know, the beauty and luster of Apple, certainly the iPad 2 is a great way to go. It's the market leader for a reason. You're getting a pretty powerful tablet in a thin, thin form factor where they ton of applications. Uh, if you're more swayed towards Android and the openness of the platform and what it can do as far as multitasking and customizations, there are two choices which are absolutely outstanding. Choice number one, and this is the thinnest tablet that really I've ever had with my hands on that's been released at least. Uh, this is the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. Assuming Apple doesn't sue Samsung again here in the US and get the sales halted, uh, that is probably my preferred tablet of choice. Uh, on the Android front, it is an awesome tablet. It works really well. It's razor thin. The battery is solid. Uh, I've got some great additions to Honeycomb uh, with Samsung's TouchWiz on there. It's just a great tablet uh, overall. The screen is beautiful. I love the widescreen form factor of it. Just worked crazy well. It's also sort of a keyboard uh, dock too, so if you need to take it to class and take notes, uh, it's gonna work out well for you. And speaking of keyboard, uh, the tablet number three that deserves to be mentioned is the Asus ePad Transformer, uh, which is an awesome tablet in its own right. Uh, it's got the same specs, pretty close at least, to the Galaxy Tab 10.1. It's got that beautiful TFT display. 
Of course, it's running Android Honeycomb, NVIDIA's Tegra 2 processor in there. It's got that same widescreen aspect ratio. And you can get, again, a keyboard dock, turns into a laptop, hence that sort of transformer uh, name to it. It worked well, it was smooth, it didn't have any delay. Uh, both of those Android tablets are awesome. So whether you're Apple or whether you're Android, I would definitely recommend uh, one of those three. You're not gonna go wrong with any of them. Something to keep in mind. Hopefully that helped answer your question. So let me take a quick second to thank our friends and sponsors at Netflix. First of all, guys, I use Netflix. I use Netflix probably three times a week to watch TV shows while sitting downstairs. I stream them on my Apple TV right to my television. Uh, sometimes I'll use the Xbox instead depending how I'm feeling. Uh, it's a great way to get content right to your television. Uh, with more than 23 million members, Netflix is the world's largest subscription service, instantly streaming TV episodes and movies. Members can instantly watch thousands of titles on a vast array of devices, streaming TV episodes and movies like, I said, the Xbox 360, Sony's PS3, and the Nintendo Wii. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you can instantly watch as many movies as you want, anywhere you want, for a low monthly price, no late fees or due dates. So for a limited time as a new member and a Techno Buffalo viewer, you can get a free 30-day trial membership. Just go to Netflix.com slash Buffalo with a capital B. If you haven't tried Netflix, you really should. Um, it's a great way to watch all your business. You can even ditch your cable box. Uh, which I know, I think Noah Kravitz uh, actually did using Netflix as his main way to watch content. Show your support for us, show your support for Netflix. Go to netflix.com slash buffalo with a capital B. You're gonna get some awesome stuff. And the last question comes from Techno Buffalo user Lewis Holas. Lewis, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, who actually had the pleasure of meeting uh, at my London meetup when I was in Europe, and he wants to know about that trip. What was your favorite moment of your Europe trip? So for those of you guys that know or, or maybe don't know, um, at least you know now, uh, I went to Berlin, Germany to cover the IFA trade show. And while I was sort of in the region, uh, I did a little bit of traveling. Uh, I went to London first, then I took the train to Paris, and then I flew from Paris to Berlin. I hadn't been to any of those three places or even the three countries those places are in. So I was really excited to go and check them out. Uh, while I was in London, I had a meetup we had about 30, 35 people come, and it was absolutely awesome. I went to, uh, I believe it was the Covent Garden Apple Store. It's one of the largest uh, stores in the country. Just had a great time. I really enjoyed it. That was probably my favorite moment from the trip. I was getting a chance to meet to meet fans and to meet fellow nerds and get a chance to just talk to everyone. The people in London were awesome. I was really happy they had things on the street though that said look left, look right, because I probably would have gotten hit by a car 17 times. I forget they drive on the other side of the road. I'm not saying the wrong side of the road because it's right for them, um, but you definitely can forget uh, while you're there. So I was very happy. Uh, food was awesome. People were really friendly. I actually had some of the best Indian food ever uh, in London. I never been to Paris, so it was really cool to see the city and the history, like walking through uh, history. That was really, really cool. And then Berlin, I never been to Germany, so it was awesome to get a chance to not only meet some fans uh, at the IFA trade show. Hey, Tim and Jesse. Uh, it was also really cool to sort of see the city and the history uh, of Berlin. I'm kind of a World War II buff, so to sort of see where all these things happened and how the German people uh, felt about what happened was really very interesting. And I got a chance to know uh, some of the German geeks out there, so that even made it better. And I will say this, the German beer is awesome. So if you're over 21 and you have a chance to go to Germany, uh, definitely <laughs> give that a shot. It was just a dull trip was awesome. Um, and I'm happy to, I'm happy to be back at home though. You realize, I'm so excited to go, but I'm so happy to come back home as well. So that was a bit of a personal story. Uh, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Ask the Buffalo for all your latest tech news. Be sure to check us out on technobuffalo.com. I'm John Rettinger, and I'll see you in the next episode. I'm gonna get my Techno Buffalo shirt in there. Check it out. This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Netflix and my crazy wizard eyebrows. And my bushy wizard eyebrows.